All right, we're here with Danielle Davis. What year did you graduate, Danielle? I graduated in 2015. And what was your, your uh, concentration? It was professional writing. Great, and what are you doing now? Well, at the moment, I'm currently teaching adjunct at the local community college where I live. I'm teaching a remedial English course, and I'm also substitute teaching while I pursue my MLIS. So I'm hoping to become a public librarian soon. Great. Well, how did you get to where you are now? A lot of things happened. You know, you gra you know, you graduate, and the years start to fly by, and before you know it, you're just sitting there, and you're wondering, am I on the right path with my life? Initially, I started in news right out of college, and I landed at the newspaper at the local military base, but unfortunately, it went under, and so I had to switch gears, and I was kind of in a state of uncertainty before I decided to get my TESOL certificate, and I was going to go overseas, but life happened, and that led me to becoming a community journalist at Tuskegee News, and during that time, I got accepted into a university to get my MLIS because while I was getting my teacher certificate, I worked at a public library and I was like, I really like this. So I decided to pursue an MLIS. And so now I find myself here. <laughs> Great. How do you like it so far? Do you think you made the right choice? I think so. And I always say this. I mean, every English major dreams of writing a book and publishing it, but we all know dreams don't pay the bills. And that's still a dream of mine. But I went into news because I knew it would help pay the bills and I love writing, but I couldn't see myself doing it forever. And recently I sat down with a former professor of mine and her and I really talked about it. And it's important to love your work. I think that becomes more important the older you get. You know, you start looking past dollar signs and opportunities and you start to really think about what kind of legacy do I want to leave and am I happy in what I'm doing? And so that's really what her, um, got me to switch gears. Mm -hmm. And is there anything we taught you at uh, in CSU English that you use in your work now? Everything, I'm always saying. I tweeted the other day that um, I thank God for my English degree because it's helped me in, so it's helped me in numerous ways. Like even working from news, working at the library to even now, it's helped me. And then just the faculty at Columbus State, they've been so, in the English department, they've been so supportive. I feel like I'm always jumping off a plane or doing something crazy in terms of my life, but I always have these professors that I can go back to and they really help me and I love them for that. Great. And lastly, what advice would you give to current English majors at CSU? I would say don't lose sight of what it is that you want to do. I mean, so often people put down English majors, you know, there's a running joke about us, you know, you won't, you won't find work, you know, you're going to be poor, you're going to be that struggling, starving artist, but that's not true. No matter what it is that you do, you can find something. And even if you're not, even if you're not rich, the goal in life is not to become rich. The goal in life is to find happiness. And if you can continue to find happiness through words and anything like that, that has to do with English in your degree, then you've succeeded. So don't worry. Sage advice from Danielle Davis. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Best of luck on your MILS and your librarian career. Thank you so much.